Hello and welcome to the Elimination Week where we will decide which two of these teams will make it into the playoffs. Will it be Quartz? Will it be Azalea? Will it be Diverdiva? Let's see. Hello and welcome back. So I went ahead and took a look at the records and apparently there was actually a three-way tie. So th exactly there was one situation that would have occurred in which Diverdiva actually did not clinch the playoffs which I must have missed so I must apologize for making that mistake. That's why I expressed some uncertainty before, but technically they would even make the playoffs because I'm silly like that. So, technically speaking here, we actually have three teams who are actually not officially in the playoffs. That would be Diver Diva, Quartz, and Azalea. They all have 5-5 five and five records. Now, I have made it so each team fights one the other team once. So, if one team beat the two other teams, they would automatically be in the playoffs just by pure elimination. However, one team beat their team, the second team beat the third team, and third team beat the first team, which becomes a circle logic of tiebreakers, which breaks my system, which um, that's unfortunate. And I wasn't expecting this to happen literally in the first season, but it did. So then that's why I created an elimination week just in case. So I guess I'll need the elimination week here. So exactly what's happening. So Diver Diva will face Quartz once. And Diver Diva will face Azalea one more time. And then we'll have Quartz versus Azalea. So we'll have three matches. Each team will versus the other team once. And now there will be two ways this can go. One team will get two wins. One team will get one win. The other team will get zero wins. Or everybody will get one win again. In the case of the situation where everybody wins one battle once. Well then I get back into another tie. So then I'm going to strictly go by whatever teams have the most kills. We'll progress because I'm not going to keep redoing this. So hopefully we'll just need three more battles here. And I guess the way I'm forcing it will only be three battles. If the tie if there's ties and kills again somehow. Well. Actually I can't do that because they have different amount of members. Quartz would always have more kills and deaths. So I guess instead I'll go by kill death ratios. So whoever has the highest kill death ratio will proceed. Because the higher kill death ratio shows more dominant victories, so then they technically are the more dominant team. So the team with the highest kill death ratios after the two matches that they will do will move on. If there's a tie in kill death ratios, then I'll look back in the regular season and take that kill death ratio and for the team and then just proceed there because I don't want to keep redoing fights here and have us get to the playoffs sooner than later. So we'll start with Divideo versus Quartz here. So of course. Winning these are extremely important if you want to get into the playoffs here. We kind of got like a mini playoff series here going on here. Alright, so we got a A-hole fighters here because Diver needs to be multiplied twice here to get make sure that they are not at a disadvantage in terms of numbers here. So early on we have a lot of people fighting off onto the right here. A lot of Diver is just trying to stay off the ledge and then fly up and damage opponents here. So Emma is the first to go down here as now Diver Diva has a one life lead on top of Quartz. A lot of Diver Diva has been building up percentages but that's also pretty true for Quartz minus Emma who already died. And bam we get another death for Quartz here as Kanta was not able to survive that big hit. Winning Quartz two lives behind now. Diver Diva is really striving to get into the playoffs here. Of course, the top two teams will make it to the playoff spot here. So, this losing here doesn't necessarily mean it's over, but th this is very important. So now we got the first death for Diver Diva as one of the Conans has died. We definitely have another Conan looking to die pretty soon, and she looks like she just barely lived from that massive hit getting launched up there. And we have Kasumi who's an incredibly high percentage, and there goes Re Rina. So now Quartz is down one life per character, except for Kasumi, who traditionally has been the first to die on um, course for a lot of the time here. And Kasumi finally goes down. Now Diver Diva only possesses a three life lead here, as one of the eyes still manages to live here. And there goes one of the Kanans. The other Kanan barely lives here. And then Emma goes down here. So Diver Diva has a strong lead on Quartz here as they're showing dominance. Now, now we have all of Diver Diva finally lost a life here. So now Diver Diva is down to 8 total lives here, while Quartz is down just to 7 here, and is down the big 
lead has vanished, but now Kasumi went down, so we actually have a two life lead for Diva, Diva here. So overall, pretty good performances overall by Dave Diva, as most of them are currently at two kills here. Quartz is definitely lagging behind here. Especially Kanato who's at minus one and Emma who's also at minus one here. It's like Kanan just barely lived a big attack here. And there goes two of Dive Diva members here. A big swing for reports, but then it goes to Kanata. But we have pretty relatively even in lives here. And then it goes to Kasumi, who's gonna steal Rina's extra life here. And now Quartz is now a little bit more behind now. Quartz is behind two lives here. But when Rina falls, it's gonna pretty much spell the end. As they're gonna be really outnumbered here and unable to really fight off the number advantage that Diver Diva will have. It looks like I has been eliminated, but she'll steal a life. One of the eyes actually, but so now Diver Diva has just a one life advantage and now they have a zero life advantage as no one has a spare life to give here. It goes Rena. Now we have four lives on three lives here. But one of the cannons has an incredibly high percentage here. If Quartz can finish off one of the cannons here, they'll definitely be able to even this out a lot more. And looks like Kasumi will not be able to recover. Now making this a 2v4 here. Making this incredibly hard for Quartz to stay alive here. Emma is at real high percentages here, a big hit, and she will be toast, but that is also true for one of the Kanans. If Quartz wants to get anything done here, they have to get a kill now, but and they do not, and that will spell the end for Kanata as she has to fight off four people here now. At any moment here, Kanata is just running for her life here. And there it is, the final hit. And congratulations to Diver Diva securing the first win of this elimination series. Which puts Quartz at a 0 and 1. Hello and welcome to the second of the third battle. Second of three battles, should I say, in the elimination week here. Here on the left we have Quartz who have lost their first match and Azalea plays their first match here. With a loss, this will fully eliminate Quartz, which will then secure the victories for Azalea as well as Diver Diva, but we have to see who wins. Of course, Azalea has not won here, but if Quartz wants to stay alive in this playoff race, they have to win now. With a loss, the third game doesn't even technically need to be played. I guess I could play it for, for the Wolves, but that, at that point, that's just deciding seating here. So early on here, Quartz has definitely been taking a bit more of a beating, and there goes Kasumi, the first to fall here. So Quartz is off to a kind of a weak start here, as they are not able to fight off the first death, and frankly, Kasumi's notes have been not doing so hot overall here. Emma's ready to build high percentages, and so overall is well, two uh, Zidamaru's. Or not just one has been avoiding most of the damage here. Major hits on all of Quartz there, and they're just taking a big hit here as now they lose another member in Kanata, as Kanan was able to get the killer. All right, we've got an Adaya finished off here, and then now there goes one of the Hanamaras, and now Kasumi's down to her final life already here. So Zelia has lost two lives so far, while. Quartz has lost three here, and they also have a MO's really high percentage here. So now Kana has died here, and there goes another Hanamaru. So all of Azalea has lost a life here. They're down four lives here. Well, Quartz only actually lost three here, but that's because Emma has been able to avoid death. And we'll have to see how long she'll be able to live here. So now, technically, Quartz has an advantage in lives. Ooh, and a nice, nice punish on one of the Hanamaru's here. As she was not able to cover at a pretty decent percentage as she just got sent down with a spike here. So now Emma is finally has fallen, but Azalea is still a little bit behind here. There goes Rena. And oh my goodness, a, lo a lot of people are dying here. So Kasumi has now been fully eliminated, but she will opt to steal life here. 
And now Adaya has lost a life here. It's, it's hard to keep track. Uh, Quartz has oh, one life advantage now after all that mess. As now Azilia only has one life to spare here. And Rina goes down. Now we're back to even on lives here as only Emma has the life to donate in the case of a loss of a teammate. We got a big hit on Hamar, but she stays alive here. As everyone is fighting on this left ledge here for quite some time here. Ooh, and a big hit on Hanamar here. Putting Azalea down to just four lives here. Quartz is down to their final five lives. But they're starting to build high in percentages. And it goes Kasumi, who steals the extra life. But Rina dies right after and cannot steal a life here. Now Quartz is down to three lives here against the four lives here. And now we're down to the final two lives. And down to the final life. For Emma, she has to fight a lot here, and there goes Kanan for whatever reason. But there's nothing Emma can do at this point here. And Emma will not be able to make it, and that will be it. Quartz goes 0-2 in the Elimination Series, and Quartz has officially been eliminated from playoff contention here. Overall, a pretty good performance here, but Kasumi just really struggles to get anything done here, going 1-5. But we got pretty good performances by both Hanama and as well as Daya. Not so much from Kana. But congratulations to Azalea as they confirmed they are officially in the playoffs here. As well as Diver Diva thanks to Quartz's two losses here. But of course we have to figure out who gets the higher seed here. Will it be Diver Diva or Azalea? Welcome to the final battle of the elimination week here. So we already know Quartz has been eliminated and we have Azalea and Diver Diva both with one win and... They're looking to see if they can claim two wins in this elimination week to get the higher seed. The winner will get the five seed, while the loser will get the six seed. But both are currently still in the playoffs. Thank goodness, my silly mistake of not guaranteeing they even not making the playoffs didn't mean anything in the end. So, <laughs> yeah, I should be more careful next time. But nevertheless, this game doesn't mean the end if they lose, but they can get a little better seeding so they don't have to fight as a tough opponent in the first round of the playoffs here. Right now we have one of the eyes really far to the right. I'm not sure what she's trying to accomplish here, but she's letting her teammates fight alone in a disadvantaged situation. They looks like the girls decided to stay on the ledge a little longer than they should, and they took a bit of environmental damage here. But overall, we still have kind of an even game. Uh, the Conan has built up a decent amount of percentage here, and it looks like Diaby is definitely rallying a bit of, of a comeback here. With, or just do, just dealing more damage out to an opponents here, but uh, kind of is actually the first to go down here though. At least the girl should not be able to have to worry about cards racing down here as I turn off the other forms of environmental damage. Because I think that the, the bots don't know how to dodge that, so at least they don't have to worry about that here. So now we have Dino no, want to die here. Now they should all get back on stage before it's too late, and they all do. So we have I with one of the eyes at a real high percentage here, and a big, big hit here. So Kanan is able to get a kill there, and now Kanan is down to two lives here. Hanamar is still holding on to three lives as well as both eyes here. So Davideva has a bit of advantage here on Azilia here. Ooh, and no, I will not be able to recover from that mistake. And now Davideva is down at two lives here, and there goes the other eye. Now all Davideva has lost a life here. Now we'll put Azalea at a one life lead as Hanamaru has not lost her first life yet. Now Diver Diva is all bullying Kanan here, I kind of. They're all jumping, on, they're not even attacking, I guess not. They're, they're having some kind of party over there and not even doing an attack. So, some faulty AI program there, I guess. As, oh, goodness. They all ran into that wall and have actually finished up Kanan, putting. Diver Diva at a bit of a bad position here as Azalea looks like they are able to potentially able to secure the seat here if Diver Diva doesn't do anything soon here. And it looks like an eye will not be able to recover here. Now as Diver Diva is down to four lives here while Azalea has six on them here. Azalea definitely has a strong lead here and Diver Diva is definitely falling a bit back here as Azalea has been playing a lot better recently. And quite of a win streak as well. Oh, and that's going to be devastating for Ai as she is way too far off the stage as it begins to move here. And she will take environmental damage from that. 
Conan just be able to live there, but then she goes straight into Conan's sword and then dies promptly afterwards. So now Azalea is down to just 5 lives here, which is still one more than Diver Diva has on them. There goes Daya, we're back even on lives here as both teams has one life to spare. And big hits on Diver Diva, and that finishes off I, and now Diver Diva has no lives to spare here. Conan has been their Diver Diva's best player, but she got eliminated. And now it's just up to the two eyes who have been playing pretty poorly here. As I don't think they've gotten a kill. I haven't even gotten a kill yet, as um, they got a minus two, which indicates they haven't. And there goes one eye as she's died to the wall. And looks like it's over for Diver Diva. For this well, it's not obviously they're, not, they're still in the playoffs here. It looks like Azalea will confirm the win very very soon here and it's, uh, he's not not gonna be able to fight a preview one here and that will be it Azalea goes 2 and 0 oh in the elimination series and secures the number 5 seed while Diver Diva goes 1 and 1 securing the 6 seed and I guess Quartz secures the 7 seed which means they don't make the playoffs as they went 0 oh for 2 so good game by Azalea as Hanamaru once again shows up as well as Daya I went 0 and 6 combined here. So that's unfortunate for I. But that more or less is it. So now we know the official playoff bracket here. So the one seed has been given to St. Snow. As they have the tiebreaker girl for the number 2 seed, Guilty Kiss. Which both have a record of 8 and 2. Azuna has a record of 6 and 4. And BB has a 6, 6 and 4 record. But Azuna gets a 3 seed as they have the tiebreaker. Because Azuna actually beat BB. And then we will have Azalea. Followed by Diver Diva, and Azalea has a tiebreaker over Diver Diva, and Diver Diva has a tiebreaker over Quartz. So that is it. Now we officially know who is in the playoffs here. So I'm sure plenty of you are wondering how this playoff system works and whatnot, so I'm here to explain it right here and right now. So there's the bracket at the bottom which shows you who is going to face who. So example, we see BB and Diver Diva are going to face the Chokers at the 4 and 6 seed. The winner of BB and Diver Diva will then face Saint Snow. Who will then face the winner of the right bracket. So Azanel first Azalea. The winner of that will face Guilty Kiss. And a Guilty Kiss, if they win, they'll get all the way to the finals. So that's more or less how it works. So that's just a typical bracket here. And the reason why I said they were biased because Guilty Kiss and Saint Snow don't have to fight in the first round. They get to fight the winners without even have to fight anything. That's why it's a big advantage to have a buy. So I call it the first round the wild card round, which is pretty common terminology for teams that just got in into the playoffs here so Asuna and Azalea so they have three rounds for the wild card round the round is just a normal match between their teams the standard three lives per fighter and whoever wins gets a victory it's the best of three so whoever gets two wins will go on move to the semifinals so Asuna, Asuna and Azalea will have a minimum two fights but up to three fights, whoever gets two wins first will then move on. BB and Diver Diva will do the same. And then they'll get the ability to fight Saint Snow and Guilty Kiss. And then the semifinals, we have five rounds. So they're going to be uh, the first to three wins will then be able to move into the final round here. So the way I plan on breaking up is wildcard round will be a whole one video of both teams. Or both uh, matches between the two teams. And then semifinals will each get their own video of five battles, which is standard for a video. They'll have just Saint Snow versus the winner of one of the teams, BBB and Diver Diva. And then Guilty Kiss will face the winner of Azana and Azalea. After that, we'll have our final Love Life Finals, which will have seven rounds. The first to four wins will get the crown and win the whole entire thing. Of course, teams that don't make the playoffs don't even get a chance to play in the final or in the whole playoff system because they didn't win enough. So that more or less is how it's going to work. There is no ties because that's the way I set it up. So stay tuned. Next week we will have the playoffs and we'll see who gets to move on to the semifinals. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to catch you guys in another video soon.